hello my dear students in this video now we are going to study about the isoxazole preparation and the properties isoxazole structure is like this and the formula is c3n3 sorry c3h3no <coughs> now first of all we discuss about the preparation methods and among them first of all we discuss about the klizen synthesis uh, klizen synthesis is also known as the 3 plus 2 method in this method uh, we use the uh, 1 comma 3 diketones 1 comma 3 diketone and uh, what is that uh, nh2oh this is known as the hydroxyl amine okay now we combine both these in the presence of uh, mineral acids h uh, that means in the presence of h plus ions okay <coughs> as a result uh, we get the isoxazole derivative Okay, so uh, we take one example here. Mm. R1, R2. Look at 1, 2, 3. So this is a 1 gamma 3 diketone, and uh, here we write the NH2OH. So here uh, we may get uh, two types of products. Okay. So here we have write N, R1 and R2 or we can get uh, this also, look here. So here at N, R2, so we write 2 here, okay, 2 here and uh, we write here R1. So here uh, we get uh, two types of products, okay, here uh, R1 is uh, located adjacent to the uh, nitrogen atom and R2 is located near to the oxygen atom there is here R2 is located near to the nitrogen and R1 is located near to the oxygen atom so here now we go for the mechanism so look here we can write uh, this uh, 1 comma 3 diketone like this we can write this uh, ketone as it is this carbonyl group and we can write this carbonyl group as the uh, what is it uh, hydro uh, <coughs> enol like this okay now we can write it as r2 okay now. so now what happens nh2oh undergoes uh, condensation uh, with this uh, carbonyl oxygen as a result of what happens so look here we have tried r1 and here we have tried oh and r2 now in the presence of h plus n so what happens this h and this oh uh, goes out in the form of water and uh, <coughs> what is it uh, we get the oxazole derivative. So R1 and here we have to write the R2. Otherwise, uh, we can write in another way also. Look here, R, we can write like this also. What is that? Here we can write double bond O and R2. And here uh, we can write this as the enol R1 now what happens hydroxylamine uh, NH2 of hydroxylamine reacts with this water sorry the, the carbonyl oxygen and the water goes outside as a result what happens Now, or is it this H and this OH goes outside in the form of water in the presence of mineral acids? Okay, as a result, we get this derivative. So 
so look here this is product 2 and this is uh, what is this is product 1 so like that in a collision synthesis uh, we may get the uh, what is that two uh, different products okay and now we discuss about the second uh, preparation method that is the quilico synthesis quilico synthesis is also known as the cno plus cc condensation here in the uh, quilico synthesis uh, uh, we re <coughs> we use the nitrile oxide cyanide is known as the nitrile and uh, here oxygen is substituted on the uh, nitrogen of the cyanide so that's why we call it as the nitrile oxide okay so this is the nitrile oxide and this is allowed to react with the esterline derivative okay na? so that means alkyne so this alkyne should have the one uh, terminal hydrogen that means the uh, acidic hydrogen okay so this is uh, alkyne here this is r and this is r dash group so here we get uh, this type of oxazole uh, sorry is oxazole r and uh, r dash okay now what is that we go for the mechanism So look here, I write esterly here, okay, and I write nitrile oxide, mm, here. So as this is the acidic hydrogen, uh, it gives the H plus ion to this oxygen and uh, <coughs> Here this bond breaks here and the electron pair shifts onto this one. As a result, what happens? Look here. C minus R dash plus uh, we get the oxygen. So oxygen and esteride ion. Okay na? <clears throat> now what happens uh, means look here. Okay, comes here. As a result, uh, what happens? Um, uh, we get a bond uh, between this carbon and this carbon. R dash and double bond. NO, H and R. Now, what happens? electron pair shifts here and this electron pair shifts here and uh, this H plus ion migrates onto this carbon as a result what happens look here C double bond C double bond N here C and O we have right here and uh, this H we have right here okay and here R and here R dash so this is uh, isoxazole So this is known as the uh, what is that quilico synthesis or CNO plus CC condensation. Okay. Uh, and here we have to remember one point that the nitrile oxide is obtained from the oxymes. Okay, na? alpha chlorooxymes. So that here we have to remember. So look here. This is uh, <coughs> alpha chlorooxane. When this alpha chlorooxane is treated with base, HCl goes outside, hydrogen from here, Cl minus here. As a result, uh, we get the nitrile oxide. Okay, so like that, we prepare the nitrile oxides. So in quilico synthesis, we treat uh, nitrile oxides with uh, alkynes having uh, one acidic hydrogen and we get the isoxazole derivative.
now we go for the third preparation method that is the cccco plus n condensation here for the cccco compound we take a royal ethylene derivatives so here we have to take ethylene and a royal group for a royal group we can take the benzoyl group so look here this group is known as the benzoyl so c6 c6 h5 c double bond o group is known as the benzoyl group so generally we can call it as the aryl so now it is known as the aryl ethylene so look here this is aryl ethylene so when this aryl ethylene is treated with the hn3 here hn3 is known as the hydrazoic acid okay na so this is hydrazoic acid here we get the <coughs> what is that isoxazole derivative here we can get the c6h5 okay hydrazoic acid can be written as like this so during the reaction this uh, n2 goes outside so look here n2 goes outside okay na? and uh, what is that uh, uh this changes into the c double bond o and oxygen comes here and, and electron becomes here as a result uh, okay <clears throat> sorry uh, this electron goes on to this one as a result we get this bond okay o n bond hmm? and uh, we get the isoxazole now we discuss about the chemical properties of the isoxazole in isoxazole <coughs> uh, two five bonds and one electron pair on the nitrogen and uh, two electron pairs on the oxygen atom may involve in the aromatization as a result it becomes the electron rich aromatic compound <coughs> uh, we can consider the isoxazole as the hybrid of the what is that uh, furan and uh, pyridine this is furan and uh, this is uh, pyridine when pyridine is uh, subjected to the electrophilic uh, substitution uh, electrophil will be substituted on the beta position that means the uh, two positions to distance away from the nitrogen okay na? in the similar way when <coughs> uh, isoxazole is subjected to the electrophilic substitution reactions uh, the electrophile will be substituted at the fourth position okay now so for example when it is treated with the deuterium sulfate uh, deuterium atom will be substituted at the fourth position and we will get the four to zero isoxazole okay like that we can observe here some uh, electrophilic uh, substitution reactions okay now this is a nitration okay here we get the four nitro isoxazole and in sulfonation here this is uh, oleum h2so4 and so3 okay na? this mixture is known as the oleum so when it is treated with the oleum we get the 4 sulfo isoxazole and on chlorination we get the 4 chloro isoxazole and on treatment with the formaldehyde and hcl in the presence of anhydrous zncl2 this reaction is known as the chloromethylation and we get the 4 chloromethyl isoxazole this group is known as the chloromethyl group okay now we know very well that ch3 is a methyl group so if you remove one hydrogen from methyl group and if we substitute chlorine that becomes the chloromethyl group okay now? so here we get the 4 chloromethyl isoxazole and when it is treated with the dmf that means dimethyl formamide in the presence of phosphorus oxychloride we get the 4 formyl isoxazole here this is a formaldehyde hcoh is known as a formaldehyde and uh, if you replace uh, hydrogen with an h2 group that becomes the formamide 
formaldehyde formamide and this is n comma n dimethyl formamide so this is a dmf the last one is here dmf dimethyl formamide and uh, this reaction is known as the wilsmeyer reaction so in wilsmeyer reaction all the head group is uh, substituted on the aromatic ring okay na so now uh, when this isoxazole is treated with the mercuric acetate we get the 4 acetoxy mercury isoxazole CH3COOHG so this is known as the 4 acetoxy mercury isoxazole and on uh, treatment with bromine we get the 4 bromo isoxazole and when it is treated with the formaldehyde in the presence of the H2SO4 we get the 4 hydroxy methyl isoxazole hydroxy methyl um, hydroxy methyl and chloromethyl okay and on treatment with iodine we get the 4 iodo isoxazole uh, in all these reactions uh, uh, carb what is that uh, electrophile is substituted on the carbon which is present at the fourth position and there are some reactions in which uh, electrophile is substituted on the nitrogen atom here we take uh, one example look here uh, this is uh, 2 comma 3 sorry uh, 1 2 3 and 4 5 now so 3 comma 5 dimethyl isoxazole 3 comma 5 dimethyl isoxazole when it is treated with the uh, tertiary butyl alcohol this is a tertiary butyl alcohol here uh, we, have, we get the isoxazolium salt okay 3 comma 5 dimethyl isoxazolium butyl iodide okay na? so here nit uh, butyl group is substituted on the nitrogen and uh, this one uh, is known as the quaternization reaction okay na? here uh, isoxazole shows some addition reactions so first of all it has to be <coughs> quaternized okay na? so uh, we get here quaternized uh, product after that it is treated with the ignored reagent so here we get the addition product uh, next uh, <coughs> some nucleophilic substitution reactions look here the quaternized isoxazole is treated with the uh, here thiophenol okay na? so here chlorine will be substituted with the thiophenyl group that is SC6H5 so it is a nucleophilic uh, substitution reaction okay and uh, next when it is treated uh, with the base the isoxazole is treated with the base here a strong base we are using uh, sodium ethoxide so in the presence of uh, sodium ethoxide deprotonation uh, the proton and <coughs> the third carbon will be removed as a result uh, this bond breaks and this electron pair comes here and this bond breaks here okay and uh, oxygen gets a negative charge so look here this is enoxide ion okay now nitrile group is also there so this uh, uh, c double bond n converts into the nitrile group and on treatment with the acid we get the beta keto nitrile group so when uh, isoxazole is treated with the strong bases like sodium ethoxide what is it we get the beta keto nitrile group beta keto right nitrile group and it is a ring cleavage reaction Okay, na? the isoxazole shows uh, some photochemical reactions here when it is uh, isoxazole derived for example here uh, 3 and 5 3 comma 5 diphenyl isoxazole is uh, treated uh, with the light okay na? so first of all it, uh, this uh, the electron pair on the nitrogen shifts here and a double bond breaks here and a double bond will be formed between uh, this carbon and uh, this oxygen so here we get the azirin derivative look here it is a uh, tri-membered uh, three-membered heterocyclic ring in which nitrogen is present so look here it is known as the azirin yeah. so this uh, azirin and again undergoes uh, uh, bond breaking and bond formation that means isomerization and we get the uh, new compound that is the oxazole look at this bond uh, now comes here and this bond uh, breaks uh, or moves onto this nitrogen so as a result we get the oxazole so here the 
टू एंड फाइव सो टू का मा फाइव डाइफिनेल ऑक्सीजोल दिस इज थ्री का मा फाइव डाइफिनेल आइस ऑक्सीजोल दिस इज टू का मा फाइव डाइफिनेल आइस ऑक्सीजोल सॉरी ऑक्सीजोल टू का मा फाइव डाइफिनेल ऑक्सीजोल सो आइस ऑक्सीजोल इज कन्वर्ट इन टू दी ऑक्सीजोल सो दीज आर सम केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दी आइस ऑक्सीजोल थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग